video I'd like to talk about this book is going to change your life this book is going to answer almost all your questions about dreams and dream interpretation she teaches us how to interpret your dream with a biblical perspective she shows you what to look out for in dream interpretation because let's be honest everyone's dream will be different welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time welcome if you're new here my name is faith leads hence the name faith leads is gonna on this youtube channel i have a podcast for his glory where i share strictly about god to make him seen known and heard and also to give him all the glory also i create content about personal development from a christian perspective so if that's your cup of tea you're welcome to stay you can subscribe and let's get right into this episode today i'd like to talk about the power of your dreams by stephanie ike okafo this is a beautiful book and i would recommend it to anyone who wants to learn more how to hear god how to understand how god speaks to you and how to be able to have divine dream interpretation if you haven't got yourself a copy i'll leave a link in the description where you can purchase yourself a copy god has been communicating to very many people through dreams we saw it through joseph the dreamer in the old testament we also saw it through abraham we see it in the new testament where we look at joseph the earthly father of jesus we saw it even with pontius pilate's wife so there have been so many people who have gotten messages from god through dreams and i would like to tell you that i'm also one of those people who have been having dreams even from my younger age earlier on in my christian walk i never used to consider my dreams to be anything i would dream and i'll be like ah i had a dream i remember one time i went to my mom and i told her about a dream i had had so when i told her a week later she calls me and she's like oh come and see these two buildings catching fire and i'm like yeah i told you mommy i dreamt about two buildings catching fire and i think as my mom she knew i had that gift from god but she never wanted it to be exaggerated so she decided not to really mentor me into it and i also don't blame her because right now i can understand that she was trying to shield me from a lot especially the fact that i could dream things and they would come to manifest in their physical life so earlier on my dreams were usually dreams which were very direct in the sense that i would dream something and it would literally happen as i grew to become a teen and also eventually in my 20s i started having dreams and earlier on i never used to record down my dreams but i started this around 10 years ago i'll just record them in my notebooks i've shared some of the snippets of my dreams in one of the episodes so as i kept recording these dreams after a while things will come to pass and i'll go back and i'm like okay i remember dreaming this i remember seeing this family member having this issue and it has happened to them i remember family member getting pregnant and now they are pregnant so my dreams were literal dreams that the world would dream them is how they would happen as i've grown on my christian journey and also in age many of my dreams have been laced with a lot of parables symbolism and some of them i never really had interpretation until i read this book so in this episode i'm going to share with you some of the nuggets i picked out of this book of course i'm not going to spoil it for anyone who hasn't read it yet but i'm going to share with you my top lessons i've learned from this book number one lesson is you have to take your dreams seriously earlier on i used to think that for you to hear from god he had to show up as god and say who i'm here faith i need to talk to you and many times i would pray to god and tell him i want to see you i want to experience you i want to have a feel of you i want to communicate with you and he would answer but i didn't know how he answered in the sense that i expected him to show up in a physical form an angel or as a bright light or like the jesus actors that appear let's say in passion of christ or the chosen i expected jesus to show up in a physical form and i would have an interaction with him it was such a naive thought to have but as i've grown my christian journey i've seen that indeed all this time i've been having messages from god one thing i started as i've mentioned was to write down my dreams writing them down in the sense that i record what has happened on the dream when i've had it and i leave it at that it's usually after a while that these dreams come to reality and i'm like oh yeah i remember recording that in my dreams journal so i have a dreams journal 
the number one point I would like to say is that write down your dreams as soon as you wake up get your notebook and write down your dreams if you don't have a notebook you can use your notes app I do that and I find that I can go back to my dreams by even just typing something I might remember let's say if I'm dreaming about a trip I took to the beach I can go to my notes app and type trip to the beach and a dream will show as a recorded date so the first 90 seconds as soon as you wake up you have to make sure you write down any messages you received in the night she quotes and says that Jesus died for you so that he could speak to you so if he died for us he's able to speak to you through your dreams so the number one thing you have to do is write down your dreams as soon as you wake up number two is to write down any symbols that you get in your dream a symbol may be a place it may be a person who is featuring in a dream it may be a word that you've seen on a dream it might be numbers it might be a physical item let's say you're eating a fruit write down all the details that you can remember in your dream number three thing i picked out from this book is don't be quick to go to google and check out for the meaning of your dream if god has given you a dream take it to him in prayer ask him god i've received this dream what is the meaning of this dream and sit with that dream don't be quick to draw to conclusion especially when you have a dream take time to dissect and digest the message from the dream take time to examine the details of that dream what things stand out in a dream what feeling is the dream bringing did you feel happy when you're having this dream was it a frightening dream did you feel equipped with the knowledge to handle whatever happened in the dream and as you've woken up how do you feel about the dream because dreams from god are dreams that usually come for edification they can come as a warning they can come as giving direction they can come to commend you they can come to impart in you some gifts and all these are linked biblically in scriptures if you want me to do a detailed video on dream interpretation and my dream life let me know and i'll be sure to do that the other thing i also learned from this book is the fact that dreams are spiritual but to let the dreams manifest your dream should be coupled with god it's one thing to have a dream let's say about your destiny but the best way to manifest that dream is to take it to god because he's the one who's given you that dream if that dream is coming from God, he has the blueprint on how that dream is going to come to life. So take it to him and continue to seek him. Also, from my own life, as also stated in this book, I've seen that when I make it intentional to seek God through my actions, through praying, through fasting, praying specifically in the spirit, I'm able to get very informative and detailed dreams that from my own wisdom and understanding could not have come from my day activity and the way many of these god dreams i've had in my life have stood out is that i couldn't have had the thought about that dream before i had it and when i'm going down to interpret this dream i look at all the small details of the dream as i also focus on understanding the message from god using biblical principles my bible and also listening to what god is speaking so she recommends that if you want to grow on your journey of understanding your dreams learning to hear god's voice amid his all other voices is that you have to seek god with all your heart seek him intently in jeremiah 29 verse 12 and 13 says that if you seek me with all your heart you'll find me god is looking for people to seek him with all their hearts with all their might with all their strength and as you build this relationship with god He's going to be able to open up many things that are going to reveal your future, that are going to reveal your destiny, that are going to give you clarity on your career, that are going to give you clarity in even the minute things of where he needs you to live in a given country. And I'm speaking this out of testimony that God has spoken to me about almost all the small details, even my kids, even where he wants me to settle and build a home, even where he wants me to work because I've taken time to understand his ways. I've taken time to seek out his will for my life. So Stephanie Ike's book shares with you all the steps on how to hear God's voice because she quotes that she's heard God 
from the time she was nine years and i would believe she's in her 30s so those are like over 20 years of her hearing god she gives you that blueprint on how you need to interpret your dreams she shows you what to look out for in dream interpretation because let's be honest everyone's dream will be different your dream is influenced with where you live what you do your culture and so many other things influence how our dreams are given to us by God. So if she had given us only one side of dream interpretation, she would have left out a lot. So I really enjoyed reading this book. It's an easy read and easy to understand. I love that every perspective she gives when it comes to dream interpretation, she links it to scripture. She's not speaking out of her own mind, but she's leading everything to the word of God. There are so many references from the Bible and she interprets all the aspects of dream interpretation based on the Bible. Believe me, there are so many ways people interpret dreams. Let's not talk about that today, but her dream interpretation and helping us understand our dreams is based on biblical standards and biblical scriptures, which is a 10 out of 10. The text on the pages of the book is readable. At the end of every chapter, she gives you reflection questions that you can go and reflect on and also use your own dreams that you've been having if you've been keeping a dream journal and answer the questions. As you go through the chapters, you'll notice that you'll learn more about how to interpret your dream. In fact, there was a dream of mine I'd had for over 10 years and while I went through it, I was like, oh yeah, this is what it means. I was able to interpret the dream as i applied the reflection questions and also what she teaches in this book so if you're a dreamer like me this book is worth it get it for yourself and you won't regret it there are three things that she shares when you want to learn more about hearing god number one is to pray number two is to fast of course you fast with prayer and with prayer you pray in the spirit or pray in tongues if you haven't been filled by the Holy Spirit, I've done a video on how you can end up being filled by the Holy Spirit. I'll link it in the description of this episode. Then number three is meditating on the word of God. Meditate on the word of God. Meditate on the scriptures that are written in your Bible. And as you do these three things in tandem, you're going to see you grow. Because God is looking for people to draw close to him. In the book of James chapter 4 verse 8, it says, draw close to me and I'll draw close to you. So when you draw close to God, he's going to move closer to you. He will reveal to you things that you don't know. Again, in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, it says, call unto me and I'll answer and I'll show you great unsearchable things that you don't know. So God is requiring a relationship with you. And when you build this relationship with him, he's going to open up. To show you the things that you need to know in proverbs 25 verse 2 it says that it's the glory of god to conceal a matter but it's the glory of kings to search out that matter so search out that matter in the essence that you go to god with an open heart you read his word you create time to seek him you create time to fellowship with him and believe me your dream life is going to change you end up having divine revelations from god so if you haven't accepted christ as your personal savior please repeat this prayer after me heavenly father lord i thank you so much for your son jesus that you sent to die for me on the cross while i was still a sinner christ died for me today i believe it with my heart that jesus died and rose again and is seated at the right hand of the father i confess it with my mouth that jesus is lord jesus I welcome you today to come and dwell in my heart. Today, the old is gone and the new has come because who the Son sets free is free indeed. Holy Spirit, now become a resident in my life and I am a born again Christian. In Jesus' name, I do pray and believe. Amen. As I was saying that prayer, I feel late to pray for you to get filled with the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues because if you want to hear from God you have to be able to speak in tongues and pray in the Spirit. So raise your faith with me as I ask God to bestow this gift of new tongues, heavenly tongues to you. Heavenly Father Lord I thank you so much for the person watching this video. They are yearning to speak in tongues they are yearning 
to know you on a deeper level. They are yearning to understand more about how you speak to them in dreams. So today, as I raise my faith with them, I pray, O oh Lord, that your Holy Spirit will overshadow them and you'll give them utterance of heavenly tongues and they'll be able to pray in the Spirit. I pray that this Holy Spirit that raised Christ from the dead is now resident on the inside of them and it's this spirit that gives us utterance to speak in heavenly tongues alone i pray oh lord that your spirit will rest upon them oh god that they will see you move in their lives that their dream life oh god will be a dream life that they can hear from you that they can and get guidance alone that they may learn more about your ways through how you interact with them in their dreams of God I pray that they will have the visions of God they'll have dreams as it's written in your word of God in Joel chapter 2 that in the last days you pour out your spirit on every flesh the sons and daughters shall prophesy that all the old will have dreams of God on both daughters and sons of God you pour out your spirit of God may this spirit rest upon them today oh God by evidence of speaking in heavenly tongues oh Lord give them that utterance oh God to be able to speak in your heavenly language to be able to speak beyond what they know oh God because your word tells us we don't know how to pray but the spirit intercedes for us with words that we cannot understand oh God I raise my faith with them to believe that today is the day that they are going to learn and hear hear you better i raise my faith with them oh god and say that today will be the beginning of them speaking in tongues in the heavenly tongues and praying in the spirit i prayed believing and trusting in the mighty name of jesus christ amen so as a result of this prayer i'd like to say that open your mouth and speak whatever is coming out of your mouth it might be a one syllable like ta 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 say that it might be mama 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 say that it might be an elaborate tongue just raise your faith and open your mouth to speak also with speaking in tongues i've noticed that first and foremost first get rid of any sin within you it might be sin of revenge sin of disobedience it might be sin of hatred it might be sin of bitterness when you're bitter you give the devil a footstool in your life when you have an resolved conflict with people you might not be able to experience speaking in tongues so if there's anything in your life that is hindering you from speaking in tongues ask god to help you reveal what it is and ask for forgiveness and also let go of any bitterness and any hatred and any conflict that you might have in your life and after that tongues will become your new food Anytime I feel I'm late to speak in tongues, I just open up my mouth and say whatever comes out. It's an act of faith that you learn to speak in tongues. So if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll be doing detailed videos about the prophetic because I believe God is leading me that direction to share more about how to hear from God, how to understand your dreams, how to cultivate a prophetic life because it's given unto us as believers. Being a prophet is different from being prophetic. Prophetic means that you have the grace to speak words that edify the body of Christ and also to speak into people's lives when they need clarity. I've been able to do that with the grace of God and there are so many testimonies I'll be sharing in the new series that I'll start soon. So if you've enjoyed this video, as always, subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. I love to read your comments and I love to reply to all your comments. If you have any prayer requests, also leave them down below and I'll be sure to help you. Lastly, my Get Unstuck one-to-one -one coaching is open. You can read more about that in the description. I also have many other videos about being a Christian, how to do an Easter fast, how to discover your divine purpose and potential as designed by God. All those resources are left in the description. Have a look at the description and see what suits you best. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next episode. Stay blessed and bye-bye. Oh,
Yeah.